And in the worldwide arena, Scott Hudson and the living legend, Larry Zabisco. I had to take a break from Tanay. He was... He's just scooping me to death. Scooping you? Well, he's, he's, a, he's a human rumor mill. Goodness. Is that a good thing? Here comes Lenny and Lodi. Now what? When Lenny and Lodi, somebody is going down. Hysterical. Lenny is the new cruiserweight champion of the world. Where is the belt? He won it on Thunder a couple of weeks ago, and now we see him on run. He's even more ridiculous than ever. He's champion and doesn't wear the belt, but he brings out enough signs to raise the Bismarck. Well, you know what? Another one of these rumors, Tanae was telling me something about Lenny and Lodi took the belt to a jeweler, and they're going to have jewels and oh, studded no. them or something. And could, well, have, could have pigtails on the belt when these guys get done with them. Terrific. Well, that'll, that'll be the end of the uh, cruiserweight belt. Good night. This is a singles competition. Lenny to face Scott Armstrong. And you know Lodi is going to remain at ringside if he possibly can. We have seen WCW officials send Lodi packing of late, and I don't blame him. Well, if I was if I was a competitor, I mean, the first thing I would do is get any interference away. I mean, some guys don't think about it. Some guys don't care. Some guys want the other guy there so they can wrap two of them and then have the bragging rights. But it's always smart to get rid of an extra body if you can, even if it's a Lodi. Lenny and Lodi, the latest brother tandem in WCW. Scott Armstrong and, of course, his brother, Steve Armstrong. They have been fighting WCW battles as of late, but the brothers inside professional wrestling, you go back to the Anderson brothers, the Funk brothers, the Briscoe brothers. Up to present day, our world tag team champions, Harlem Heat, the brothers, Stevie Ray and Booker T, Rick and Scott Steiner, brothers represent a lot of history inside the sport of professional wrestling. Something tells me Lenny and Lodi won't be mentioned with those other names very long. Well, only time will tell. I mean, who could have foretold the destiny of Lenny? If you had asked me a couple weeks ago, I would have laughed in your face. That he would be cruiserweight champion, I agree. Hip toss by Scott Armstrong. Deep arm drag takedown on Lenny. Big, oh, drop kick from Scott Armstrong, and Lenny Lane goes all the way outside. Yeah, yeah nice combinations by Armstrong. Armstrong, very good. Look at this. I, do I have to look at this? I'm going to go back yeah. and talk to Tanay. Go right ahead. I'll join you. Ridiculous. Lenny and Lo Look at the glitter on these guys. Are you kidding me? What's up with that? Lenny and Lodi. Lenny, the cruiserweight champion of the world, and you think about men like Rey Mysterio Jr., Kidman, Kaz Hayashi, Juventud Guerrero, Psychosis. The list goes on and on of top-flight cruiserweight contenders. Lenny Lane, although he is a talented wrestler, was never mentioned in that group, but he is the cruiserweight champion. Hey, and now he's a target for that whole group. What did you say? Feed your what, munchies? Feed your munchies. What on earth? But I wasted my time reading Lodi's signs. Armstrong into the rope. Ducks the clothesline from Lenny. Big oh. close body. Got it. Lateral press. Can he hang on, though? Oh, and Lenny. got one in. I mean, you can't underestimate the guy. The guy's no slouch. Winning the belt was a fluke. But still, Lenny survived the match until the fluke happened. He certainly did. Something to be said for lasting with Rey Mysterio Jr. And not only did he do that. He won the match, although it took the uh, hard head of Lodi to just about KO Ray Jr. for Lenny to win the match and the belt. And Lodi didn't even see it coming. Ray didn't see it coming. It was just it was a freak. Speaking of freaks, Lenny being elbowed in the gut just leveled Scott Armstrong with a handful of hair. Went straight back to the canvas. Good skipping. They teach you that in the power plan? I hope not. I don't think so. Lenny puts the boots into the midsection of Scott Armstrong. And Lenny has his brother Lodi at ringside. Scott Armstrong does not have his brother Steve down there with him. That would have been a good idea. Lenny charges in with a corner splash. Hey, got him, Armstrong. Down. I tell you, the Armstrong boys, they're all fighters. I mean, they won't give up. They will fight you to the end. Scott here, no pushover. Lenny oh. made a mistake. Scott Armstrong sidesteps it. Lenny 
Far into the top turnbuckle, now Scott Armstrong. Left and right, rocking the cruiserweight champion. Sets him up, juice him in, big back body drop from the second generation competitor in Scott Armstrong. Whoa, whoa. Oh, hang on. Took a shot at Lodi. Yeah, but that distracted him. Whoa, he did. Oh, no. Boy, nice sidestep. That man, nice smooth. Scott Armstrong is a veteran. He took a shot at Lodi. Lenny tried to take advantage, and Scott was one step ahead of him. We may see an upset right here. Scott Armstrong. What? Lodi. Lodi. Tripped him up. Lenny. Wait a minute. He Lenny only got out. the two count. Scott Armstrong now has Lodi. Shaking his head out by the roots. Got him by the short hair. So hang on. Schoolboy roll up. Can he hang on? Yeah, he got it. Lenny. We'll retain the cruiserweight straps. Thanks again to the always ridiculous Lodi. Good night. What a pair to be the full house. Oh, hang on. I don't know who's more ridiculous. Lodi or the idiot with the pigtails, our champ. Lenny and Lodi stand tall and victorious. Lenny wins the match and keeps the cruiserweight championship of the world. Wow. What a pair here on World I, I still don't think they believe they won. Hey, more action still to come. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.